So today's video, we're gonna look at an electric vehicle that's a bit different to what we normally look at. This one's only got two wheels. It's the new Arthur 6 electric moped brought to you by Fonz. And this is the 2024 model. So this great little EV comes in three models. The standard model starts at $5,800 plus on-road costs and goes up to $8,000 for the performance model. It's got some great features like 90 kilometers an hour of top speed, 130 kilometers of range per charge, and maximum power of 9.1 kilowatts. And for all that, it'll only cost you around $1 per 100 kilometers traveled. So very economical motor transport. So in the video, I firstly have a chat to the Fonz representative and we talk about the um, new model and all the features and benefits of it. Then I take it for a test drive, which was really exciting. And then at the end of the video, I cover what I thought about it. So give a bit of an overall summary, including the price of some spare parts, which I always think is important when you're considering making a purchase like this. So something as simple as the mirrors often get broken on uh, motorcycles or scooters so i give the price of those and we also talk about some warranty so stay watching this video is brought to you by regen ev charging install australia's residential and commercial evse installation specialists and oz diy electric vehicles the car conversion experts and crawford photography high quality landscape photography at an affordable price. Welcome to Electric Car Australia, the Aussie EV channel for the real world. Now look, I hope everyone had a fantastic and safe Christmas and spent it with family and friends and didn't overindulge too much on the food. And of course also had a safe and enjoyable new year. And as always, a big shout out to my supporters who are listed at the end of the video. Okay, so let's talk the Arthur 6 electric moped from Fonz. Now this is the new 2024 model we're gonna talk about today. The one I test rode was actually a prototype, so it didn't have regen braking, um, but I was really happy to hear that the um, full production 2024 model did. Now look, this model's got some great upgrades, which I think are really worth the money over the uh, 2023 model and that includes like a new inverter and also a more powerful motor so this really gives these uh, new model scooters a big step up from the previous model so to bring home how important these upgrades are on the day i was speaking to a petrol vespa owner so long-term owner of a moped always had uh, petrol Vespers. He had tried an electric one a little while ago and he wasn't happy with the smooth delivery of the power. He said it was a bit sort of glitchy, a bit stepped. Tried this one and said this was enough to clinch the deal and he was about to go electric because of the much more smoother power delivery and the more powerful motor. So I'll we'll have a short separate video where we'll talk uh, to that owner and get his thoughts. But back to the Arthur 6 and this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. And look, I do apologize. My GoPro froze in a couple of the scenes in this. So really annoying. Um, the voice is still there. So I've actually left it play because we're discussing different things. But unfortunately, the visuals froze. Now I use the GoPro when my little cameraman's helping because it's a lot easier for him to maneuver and it's a lot lighter. Um, however, I think I'm going to retire the GoPro and stick with the Canon cam quarter. It's much more reliable and much better quality. So do apologize for that. But other than that, enjoy the video. You can't accelerate. So just making sure like, okay, you let it off and then you can go, right? And no um, you can go on. Ciao. Palmos 3, 3 is the one that's most getting up. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Hi Tim. Welcome to the Electric Car Australia YouTube channel. So we're here test driving the um, Fonz today. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, Fonz, um, we do electric motorbikes and electric scooters. Mm -hmm. um, established in 2010, first bike was on the road in 2015. Yep. And yeah, since then we're trying to electrify as many people as possible. 
And it's perfectly suited to like metropolitan areas. So we're here in Newstead in um, Brisbane today. I've just taken the um, the electric scooter for a, a ride. Um, really nice um, on the roads. It's nice and light. A lot lighter than my uh, ZZR 600 that I normally ride. Mm -hmm. Now this is a newer model, isn't it? Correct. The, so. Um that's basically like it's a new 2024 model, the Alpha 6. So basically it has um, improved powertrain, mm -hmm. right? So previously the Alpha 3 Plus was the highest performance one, mm -hmm. had an 8 kilowatt motor. Mm -hmm. So now the Alpha 6 in the performance package mm -hmm. has 9.1 mm -hmm. kilowatt motor output. Um, also like battery capacity has been improved, right? Mm -hmm. So it now has instead of like 100 kilometer maximum range, which we had previously, it's now 130. Mm -hmm. So basically instead of a 3.3 .3 kilowatt uh, battery, pack mm -hmm. which was one big 22 kilogram pack we have right. now like two 11 kilogram mm -hmm. 2.1 kilowatt hour power packs mm -hmm. linked in parallel so like in total 4.2 mm -hmm. in, instead of like 3.3 kilowatt hours so that allows like basically also like extra performance extra range so 90 kilometers top speed now as yep. well to hold comfortably as well and also like um just like how the ride feel like if people like test ridden the previous models as well they know it's like um not as linear and like um lags a little bit in the in the beginning so now the new one picks up a lot quicker instant talk and also like much more linear and smooth acceleration all the way through yeah yeah it was a smoother delivery of power mm -hmm. and that's a rear hub motor is it yes Your rear hub motor rear hub motor and the mm -hmm. battery chemistry do you know what that is obviously it's, lithium, uh, lith ion. lithium ion yeah is it um manganese is it do you know the chemistry uh, of it? I don't or? have the specs. At the no, moment. that's no. okay. And we'll put those up on the screen because mm -hmm. that's one thing a lot of people are interested in these days. Mm -hmm. And is that battery pack removable? How do you charge it? Yes, so you can charge our bike to wall. So there's a mm -hmm. there's a plug right on the on the bike mm -hmm. where you can put in just the charger and then yep. just into the wall via a normal standard power point, mm -hmm. right? So we um, in the performance package, you basically get a 10 amp charger, right? Yeah. So we charge the bike from 20 to 80 percent mm -hmm. within. Uh, under four hours, mm -hmm. right? Um, we also like have type two options as well. Right. So if you want that same plug to be like a type two connector, mm -hmm. we can fit that as well. And then you can charge via um, charging stations or like at home if you already have an electric car, right? So you can use the type two plug as well. That's right. So if you're an EV owner, like um, most of the viewers on the channel and you've already got that home charger, you could use that as well for your Scoop. Correct, correct. We can't guarantee all compati compat compatibility like mm -hmm. with all types of chargers, mm -hmm. um, but most type 2 chargers, mm -hmm. they would work and yeah. yeah. And you'd have a, um, I'd imagine, a really awesome uh, charge time as well because such a small battery pack. Yeah, I mean like the maximum current would be like uh, 20 amp for, mm -hmm. for, for, for the bike. Yes. Um, so that would bring it under 2 Obviously hours. It's not like that we can do DC fast yeah, charging, yeah. but yeah, definitely you can bring it under 2 hours. But you know, like you use an electric bike, you use mm -hmm. it differently than an electric car because in, in, in the real world, like most people like would charge it overnight and that's right. or like while they're in the office, they don't really take like a bike that's designed for the city, yep. really like on four or 500 kilometer rides yeah, and yeah, want to charge within right. 15 minutes. So 99% of the time you're going to end up actually like charging overnight while you're in the office or maybe use the type two when you're actually like in a shopping mall and there's a charger and you know, like you have a coffee, like a lunch and you know, for like 30 minutes up to two hours, you're going to boost your That's your right. You might be carrying huge again. loads besides the weight of the um, the rider and the passenger so mm -hmm. it, it's capable of taking a passenger as yep, well got obviously that'll reduce the range but um, mm -hmm. yeah certainly capable of that um, and what about pricing so mm -hmm. you can order this now you can pre-order the 2024 model mm -hmm. um, so that'll be around December and what price are we looking at for the three correct so models? the standard starts from 5790 you could say like if you're like in a Queensland base and you get like the performance option mm -hmm. right away delivered to Brisbane mm -hmm. you're like a little bit under nine thousand mm -hmm. dollars and and yeah so basically usually like the orders are like something between six to nine thousand dollars yeah um, for depending on which package you choose and then we have also like accessories that can be added if you want to put a box you want leather items you want different types of mirrors different types of tires yeah the charge upgrades right and personally i think it is something that you would customize a little bit obviously mm -hmm. it's the matte uh, color on the one we've just test rode but it's something that you can put some pinstripes on you could customize it put some bags and sort of stuff correct they all come like in a satin matte which is kind of like nice because not really any other brand mm -hmm. does satin matte right mm -hmm. so we got the matte black the moon blue racer green scarlet red on the image here we have the new limited edition the billet mm -hmm. silver and uh, also like the the performance package comes with the sport stripes as well but we have some customers also like it's no problem 
you can have it plain and you know they put yeah 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 their so own it's really sports up, decal up to the individual it. and what do you think will be the biggest seller will it be the performance or the the longer range i think it's the performance now because it yeah. does really like the job for for most cities yeah. now where you have stretches of 80 or 90 kilometer zones yep and um the feedback so far has been um very very good yep so yeah. I think performance is kind of like what people in general like want people more. Be looking for. Range anxiety is not really like a big thing. No. It's like I hear that question for everyone that's kind of like in the research stage and very new to electric. But once people are familiar with electric, have thought about what they're actually going to use it for, mm -hmm. it's mainly about performance. Range 130 in the city. That's who does all you that? need. Yeah, that's all you need. And what about a license? So obviously, for small petrol scooters, I think up to 50 cc in queensland at least you don't need a bike license correct correct these ones you need a bike license yeah correct up to 50 kilometers per hour you don't okay. need a bike license mm -hmm. you can ride it on your car license in queensland mm -hmm. in wa mm -hmm. south australia mm -hmm. and um if you want to go faster you just need to get your learners yes okay. so they're learner approved as well yeah yeah okay so but in general we probably would need to be a licensed rider to have the um the more yeah, correct. For, for more you, performance, you above 50 kilometers per hour, you need a motorbike license, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which most people, I'd argue, are going to want to do. Um, if you buy the scooter, you, there's going to be times when you're going to be zipping up. So you certainly want to probably get your license. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. warranty, what, what sort of warranty have we, yeah. we got? New model comes three years warranty. Three year warranty, mm -hmm. yeah. And you got dealerships around Australia, like you're a city yep. based company? Exactly, so our head office in Sydney, mm -hmm. that's also like um, where our micro factory is, where we're actually going to do also like our other product. Yeah, we had a look at that. So that one yeah. is fully assembled over there as well. Mm -hmm. And that's also like obviously our dealership showroom. And mm -hmm. yeah, we're expanding our network more and more. Mm -hmm. So we have already delivered all across Australia we have partners uh, in most states and we're just getting more and more so that you yeah. can see it also like in showrooms more and more and and try it out but today we have a test ride event of the new Alpha 6 model basically yeah so it's been very busy here today um, we've been lucky to be able to actually have a quick chat while um, the models out having a run around so yeah there's people like lined up to to try it so really good to see and mm -hmm. we're here at zap moto so mm -hmm. those guys they'd service it like they exactly. would be part of your dealership yep, yep. network exactly so um, basically like you can hear uh, come for a service and mm -hmm. we're also like setting up more partners in, yep. in Brisbane and around the areas like Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, yep. um, Caloundra where so you can also like go. If somebody was in Brisbane or around this area what, and they dropped in on Monday morning what could they test drive now? Like this is the new um, model yeah, you, the older models is uh, here from Tesla. Yeah, we're basically now selling out um, the old so model. That's run out, so it's yep. basically um, that's pretty much sold out at, at some stage mm -hmm. in the next couple of weeks, I'd say. And then um, it's only going to be the 2024 model with the first deliveries in December. Fantastic. And one other thing I wanted to ask from riding it, it doesn't seem like it's got regen braking. So regen braking's not. It does have it. It's just like on the prototype, it was not set up okay. um, yet, but it's basically like the regen of braking system works the first bit of the brake. Yep. Kind of like, let's say, half a centimeter when you have it engaged. Mm -hmm. um, you just do that when you go down a hill. If you see the traffic light turns red, uh, red you basically activate the brakes. It touch it a little bit yeah. then you recharge and you know like if you go down a long long hill you actually can see sometimes oh i'm at 79 percent boom It'll it goes up. up to 80 yeah. again now that's really great i'm, I'm glad and to otherwise hear that. if you you know use the full brakes then obviously you use the mechanical brakes mechanical brakes yeah, brakes, yeah. Mm -hmm. i'm really gr glad to hear that because that would have been a lost opportunity and when i was riding it i thought oh this doesn't seem like it's got regen braking mm -hmm. so good to hear that that is on the model and, mm -hmm. and it'll be set up well look really appreciate your time yeah, we'll you, have Greg. a bit more of a look around the bike so when it actually comes back um but yeah thanks for joining the channel today yeah cool cheers. thank and you good luck with the sales oh thank you so much cheers take care well it was such a busy little spot there there was people coming and going wanting to have a chat about the scooter so i've walked back around the corner near the car um, to give you guys a bit of a rundown on my thoughts so look as a motorcycle rider um, obviously a road bike not a scooter rider so um, i do ride a bit different vehicle and it's a petrol uh, motorcycle not a electric one um, it's definitely a lot lighter than i'm used to so um, with those two batteries in the performance model we test rode today um, they're quite light so the bike itself or the scooter itself is quite light so you could really um, yeah maneuver it around throw it around is probably not the right word but definitely nice and light um, it did have some performance it's got the three modes so mode one mode two and mode three mode three is obviously the um, more powerful mode 
I think comfortably for riding it around town, I'd probably leave it in mode two um, as a good mid spot. But um, if uh, you're that way inclined and you want that full power all the time, you could have it in mode three, but I think mode two worked well. It was a nice smooth power delivery, as I mentioned. So um, sometimes on some cheaper models or, um, and as you heard, one of the other guys there mentioned the earlier model um, had a more ragged or stepped sort of power delivery. This one was nice and smooth, so that was really good. Um, great to see that the production model has uh, regen braking um, because it would definitely need that. I found the brakes on it were really uh, good. The um, front and back brakes both worked really well. They are sort of balanced, um, so you've got a little bit more braking on the uh, back seat. The saddle, nice, big, wide um, seat. It would have been fake uh, sort of leather, but it had a nice pattern to it. So very comfortable, so um, tick for the seat. As I mentioned, it had the hook for your shopping bag or your work bag, um, so you can hook that between your legs. It's also got some um, storage in the front, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, not a console, but in front of your knees sort of thing, there's um, a small amount of storage in there. Put your house keys, your wallet, uh, that sort of stuff. So that was good. It looked to have a good headlight, obviously we couldn't test that um, through the day but I did flick it up up and down high beam low beam um, in a shadow of a nice tree like I'm under here um, and the headlights seem to, to work okay it does the job on the pricing I think the pricing's fair for what it is um, we had a look at the different colors there they're sort of that matte color personally I'm not a big fan of that but I know that is sort of a modern um, hip sort of thing so most people do like that um, but I, I don't like the matte and I think the matte made the plastic look a little bit cheaper um, but again that's just a, a personal sort of thing uh, my Kawasaki road bike has uh, gloss fiberglass uh, fairings and, and stuff and, and that's my preference so that's a personal thing um, the frame looked well built. Uh, we talked about the batteries and I'll put up on the screen the chemistries for those. Hopefully I can find that online and I'll also put a link in the show notes to uh, other further statistics and um, specifications on the model. Um, but all in all, I think it is a good value quality uh, scooter for metropolitan areas if you're looking to be zipping around town i think it's really a no-brainer uh, for the extra few thousand dollars over a petrol one uh, maintenance will be a huge thing uh, with these guys so um, no oil changes no spark plugs no air cleaners no coolants all that sort of stuff so that's going to be a, a huge saving so i think you'll be able to buy one of these you'll be able to plug it in a couple of times a week and you'll be literally able to drive the backside or ride the backside off the thing for years well that's it thanks very much for watching the channel if you're not a subscriber please click that subscribe button it really does help us out of course a big shout out to my supporters that throw us a couple of dollars as one-off donations or as monthly subscribers you can visit the links in the show notes to do that on the various platforms that are on the bottom of the screen now so until next time, take care, look after your friends and family, and we'll talk soon. Cheers.